my porch is in kind of rough shape. Um, the surface of it is deteriorating. The wood is splintering really bad and, it, and it's kind of like falling apart, um, which is gonna get fixed. It's gonna get redone eventually. But for now, I've just been covering it with rugs and it started last year. I found these outdoor mats, rugs, um, at five below and they were perfect and they're cute and so that's what I've been doing however they don't last long they fall apart after three months or so and then there's just these little sh shavings and shreds of plastic everywhere so let me show you what I'm talking about real quick so this is the rug and um, as you can see it's starting to fall apart and these little pieces of plastic everywhere the surface of my deck like I said it's not not too great it's seen better days that's that's why I've been covering so outdoor rugs are a little pricey I mean for a you know a nice one and me being artsy crafty um, I decided to kind of make my own I'm not gonna like weave a rug or anything but I bought some outdoor carpet and it's a fairly large roll of it and it's gray and it's kind of soft and you know, you cut it to the size you need, and there you go. It's actually big enough, I could probably get two. And, um, like I said, it's gray, and then I'm going to just paint it with a design. No idea um, how I'm gonna do it. Probably gonna use stencils, and yeah. So this is the rug that I purchased. 100% uh, post-consumer plastic drinking bottles. Awesome. So it's six foot by eight foot. I cut it in half, so now I have two pieces that are six foot by four foot. And I got it in gray, this is it. Keenan likes it, don't ya? Say! It's actually pretty soft. It's not thick. It's like a loop construction on like a mesh type background. No rubber or anything on it. But yeah. So I went online and I found a design that I liked and I quartered it. So this is obviously a, a circular pattern and I cut it into one fourth. Then I took this design and blew it up several times on the copier across several pieces of paper and made it that big. And I have this Mylar stencil paper, which I have lots and lots of this for my clothing making. And I um, just laid that on top of my design. And now I will cut it out. And that will be the stencil for my rug. I use this, um, it's actually like a wood burning tool to cut through the stencil, to actually melt through the stencil. It's so much easier than like cutting it with a, an X-Acto knife. It goes right through like butter. Um, just make sure you have a heat proof surface. I just use an old mirror and um, the stencil paper 
I get it on Amazon. You can uh, purchase it by the foot, so you can get really large pieces that way. Um, I think it was like $4 a foot, I believe. So, you know, all in all, it's not bad. Um, seven mil is the standard, or seven and a half mil is the standard. This is actually a little thinner than that. This is like four or five mil. Um, saving a couple bucks by doing it that way, and it's still plenty thick enough to use for what I need it. This is gonna be a very long process. It's gonna take some time, but luckily I only have to do a quarter of it rather than doing, you know, the whole design. happy with the way this turned out. Uh, I never did anything like this before and it worked perfectly. 
the first section that I did. It's a little blurry in areas. Um, so my advice, which I learned after that first section, was to keep the paint concentrated on you know the, the areas you're painting instead of just going all around, which is what I did the first time. And my stencil is a little bit lightweight, so it, it was lifting and, and blowing, which I tried to counter that with those wood blocks, which helped a little, but it didn't help in the small sections in between. But it's, it's barely noticeable. And again, very happy with the way this turned out. Thought about doing a little more, maybe like trim around the sides, but I already know that tape does not stick to this stuff. So, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. All in all, not bad. 22 bucks for the carpet, and it was enough to make two of these rugs, which the other rug, maybe I will do a different design on it. Um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys learned a new trick and I will see you in my next one.